Gotta mute the TV. Um, good morning. So first of all, this is a very exciting day for me. There's something that's going on that I've been hyping up for the past few months. You guys know I've been so busy in 2023 working on something. The reveal is in this video. I'm gonna be having so much fun in the next 24 hours that I would just love to document it for you guys. So I woke up this morning, went on the iPad. I actually started this project on my iPad. So this iPad holds so much meaning to me right now. And I woke up super early, obviously, because I'm so excited. So I have a whole day ahead of me before I head to this certain shoot. Inevitably, when I wake up early and just can't go back to bed, I go on Pinterest. And I saw the most beautiful little cakes. And it inspired me to go pick up a little cake pastry for breakfast this morning. Like, how could I look at this and not go get cake? Looks so good. Also, I have to go get this nail fixed today because I do have my shoot later and this weekend when I was in New York, I like totally ripped it off. And stay tuned for a very magical happily ever after in the end of this vlog where you finally get to see what's been up my puff sleeve. Guys, I was up till 1am last night cleaning my closet. I have not cleaned my closet since going to New York for the month of June. So it was just crazy. Like, you guys have no idea. My suitcase was like there. There's clothes everywhere covering the floor, covering my love seat. Like, it was just chaotic. I am not gonna wear makeup until I have to. So my shoot's in four hours. I wanna go get my sweet treat. And then I wanna go lay out by the pool. And then we're gonna head to this luxury barn called Life's Patina. I actually shouted out Life's Patina in my no budget antique shopping spree a few videos ago. And when I walked in there, I just knew, like I knew I was gonna shoot this project in there. I was like, I just, I feel it. You guys know I love the Cinderella vibes. And then after the pool, I'm gonna go fix my nail, get in glam, and we're gonna go to this luxury Cinderella barn. There's like gluten-free options down here. I think I'm gonna go with lemon, because I'm going to the pool. So cute. This fancy vlog is sponsored by Jizu Life and oh my goodness guys, this was the perfect vlog to feature this in because the luxury barn ended up being around 90 degrees inside and outside was like 88 degrees. It was a very hot day to shoot. You guys will see later in the video, but there's a setting that goes all the way up to 100. You can also adjust the settings to your fan needs. As you can see, this is really powerful. This is category 100 hurricane technology, but you could bring it down to like a 20. I absolutely love the champagne gold color that my fan comes in. I'm gonna be linking this down below if you guys are interested. This has been such a hot summer and this fan was game changer with keeping my makeup intact the entire shoot, which you guys will see later in this vlog. I also only had one hour to charge this fan, the one hour car ride to this barn and it's still working one week later off of that one hour charging battery life. So I was reading about this fan and it does have 15 hours of powerful battery life. The aluminum smooth body is super aesthetic. I love the champagne gold that my fan comes in. Everything's gonna be linked down below if you guys wanna get 20% off of this. I've seen cheap versions of electronic fans all over Amazon, but I feel like you get your bill for your buck with this electronic fan, especially since the speeds go so high and the summer has been so hot. This is game changer. This is on the highest setting. I feel like I have portable air conditioning with me. Oh. It's going up to 100. Literally in honor of living my Barbie fairy tale dreams today, I need this playing on my fridge as I eat cake. This is my favorite Barbie movie. Actually, fun fact, Paintings of Me was inspired by this song from Barbie Rapunzel. The background was are currently playing. The song. Also, I just opened this PR box from Kish, and look how cute these Barbie accessories are. Like, look at this big fat clippy. Like, I used to wear these all the time growing up. The satin heatless curlers. So let's see what L'Oreal has in store. This is so cute. Lumi Glotion, ooh, I'm gonna bring that with me today. Balm in lipstick and then balm in lip gloss. Ooh, this is so cute.
Hey booze, ignore my crazy non-blended makeup. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup and I realized I did not update you guys that I'm getting ready for the shoot. I still haven't told you guys what this shoot is yet. I'm gonna reveal that when we get to the luxury barn, but I wanna show you. So I'm packing some things. This looks like Barbie suitcase, like all the pink heels. And the thing is, is this isn't Barbie themed like my shoe. It's absolutely not, but I just feel like everything I do is just like Barbie, so I feel like it's just fitting for this time period right now. <laughs> So I'm on my way out. My addictive package came in the mail. I'm gonna do a whole haul on this channel, unboxing this. I'm not gonna do this in this video because I still have a whole day ahead of me. That's a whole video on its own. I went on two different shopping sprees for like summer and like fall clothes. Just gonna spray myself with some beautiful mess. This is my first baby and now I'm on my way to shoot my second baby. And no, I'm not putting out another fragrance right now. That's not what this shoot's gonna be for. You guys are gonna see exactly what's been up my sleeve in like the next few seconds. Oh my gosh, this gets like fast. Right? <laughs> Wait, let me see this. I'm so glad I brought that. My makeup's gonna melt off without it. Like it has, yeah, it has Her glamour shots up close. <laughs> Literally. This feels good. Oh wow. Hi. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. Are you a model? Are you a model? Yes, you are. Hey booze. Oh, there's like a bee outside my window. Um, so right now I'm on my way to this like little area in my hometown where there's like McDonald's, Bath and Body Works, Dunkin', all that stuff. So I saw on Instagram that Bath and Body Works is already starting fall. So I just want to scope out my local store and see like what fall items they have out right now. I also watched Steph Pappas and I saw like she ate this new jalapeno burger at McDonald's. It's like a new menu item. So I'm gonna pick that up for lunch. I did do Ariana Glam. She was just seen at Wimbledon. Actually, this is the vibe, but I hate high neckline on me. I I saw her glam and I was really inspired. And I feel like it's been a while since I've done like an inspired look. I know some of you guys like when I do that, but a lot of you guys also don't like when I do that. So whatever. I just got my new extensions from Luxury for Princess, so I figured I would just do a whole glam look today. But yeah, I'm gonna go to McDonald's first and then we're going to Bath and Body Works. But you guys would find this funny. I'm bringing my own gluten-free potato bread. I know they use potato bread at McDonald's, so I have my own gluten-free version of bread to bring with me because I do not eat gluten. I got it and I didn't film retrieving the bag. I know when you do these drive-through things, you're supposed to like keep the camera going. I'm new to this. I'm really bad at this. Mmm. Mmm. 
I'm going to have McDonald's fries in a second. I feel so ridiculous doing this. Oh my god. This is my new car too. I don't want to like get it all dirty. I'm ripping it off the bread. It was like stuck to the cheese. So I saw Steph Pappas dunk her sandwich in ranch. So I'm gonna try to dunk it in ranch. I'm not a dry sandwich girl. I need a sauce. This looks so good. I cannot believe I brought bread with me. Barely got anything in that bite. It's good. It's just dry. Wait, why don't they have it come with sauce? Hmm. Oh my god, I'm such a messy eater, I'm sorry. I keep going like this. Now that we're eating, let's talk about what my shoot was. If you guys didn't understand what that shoot is for, then be surprised in my next video because my next video is going to be a launch. What I'm working on isn't just a one and done thing. This is going to be seasonal forever, hopefully. I love YouTube. I will always love YouTube. Oh my God. But I feel like in the past year, I have been so inspired with fashion. My style has always inspired myself. <laughs> And the vintage films, vintage fashion has always inspired me. I'm excited and I'm so hopeful and I can't wait for the next video. It's literally going to be a launch. I'm going to be answering a lot of questions. I don't want to say specifically in this video what, what, that, what this project is because that's what the next video is for. My door is locked. Um, I feel like you could figure it out in this video I'm just so happy what I'm embarking on right now is something that I've been dreaming about since I was really little so I am full I'm gonna save the rest of the sandwich and fries for later although leftover McDonald's isn't that good it's only good when it's fresh I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works I'm so excited to go to Bath and Body Works oh my god yeah let's go get some pumpkin spice items I'm really excited. I hope they have some stuff out. Oh my gosh. Everything's so pretty. Oh my gosh. That sounds so good. Word. So before I show you guys what I got from Bath & Body Works, I want to show you guys this new light fixture that I got installed in the front of my house. Just look how gorgeous it is. It has so much character. It looks like a Tudor window. It looks so old. I just love it. Everything just goes so cute. And I recently got the front of my house done. If you guys follow my cottage palace well it's called the cottage palace on instagram but if you guys follow that you guys will see updates on the renovations i'm not going to give a front yard reveal just yet because there's still some stuff to be done that's going to take place in the next month or so so i got some hand sanitizer the wild sand it's like their summer scent but i got this because i'm traveling soon and i want to be safe but then of course I got this cute little pumpkin carrier and a little pumpkin pecan waffles hand sanitizer. This is for my car. So I'm just going to put this in here upside down. Look how fun this is. 
It's so cute. I like fell in love with this. This was the last one in the store. Then I got soap for the kitchen, pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm not gonna go ahead and do all my bathrooms with soap just yet because it's still July. But yeah, I'm starting out with the kitchen since I'm always in there. Then I got this travel sized happy birthday shower gel. It's just birthday cake scented. And then I got this travel sized strawberry pound cake lotion. I need new body care products for my travel bag. I got this spice pumpkin and patchouli candle. And those of you who antique shop know what I'm talking about when I say like it smells like fall in an antique shop. Like an antique shop that's very like country. You know how they have like a section of homemade candles? That's what this smells like. It's so good. I then got cinnamon stick and I'm not crazy about the label, like how it looks, the aesthetic, but it smells so good. I'm very spiritual and I love to meditate and cinnamon sticks are a sign of good luck when it comes to abundance. So I thought this would be a very appropriate candle to have while starting my next work endeavors. Also guys, I wanna show you, I didn't just get Halloween candles, but yesterday Johnny and I got these Madame Alexander dolls. They're the cutest little Halloween princesses. Look how cute they are. I wanna set them up on little doll stands on either side of my bed. If you guys know where to buy doll stands that are this short, like real small, let me know in the comments down below because I definitely want to decorate my bedroom with them. Look how cute, look at the hat. Then of course, Mm. I got pumpkin spice latte. It's so pretty. Like this candle looks like a pumpkin spice latte. They got the color down. This is like the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte color. And of course I got pumpkin carving. This is the first candle I saw in the store. Um, I'm starting Gabaween in August like I always do. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any like Gabaween vlog intro ideas. Those of you who've been here for a while know that I do like this theatrical like intro. I always do a theme for my Halloween vlogs or Gabaween vlogs. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any like theatrical ideas. I'm probably gonna be filming that in like the next two to three weeks and I'm so excited. I can't believe it's already here. I've already started brainstorming Halloween costumes and I may or may not be designing Halloween costumes this year, but that's for the next vlog, like I was saying. Um, and also let me know what type of Gabaween vlogs you guys wanna see from me this year. I'm gonna be filming so much. I feel like I'm gonna completely submerge myself into Gabaween this year. So if you have video ideas or recommendations for the fall season, let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next fancy vlog. The next fancy vlog is so exciting. I love you guys. Thank you for being the reason that all my dreams can come true. For real, I love you.